All right, folks. Here we are back at the keg house tonight. We got a beer review. We got a new beer review. Um, I made last year's um, uh, 2021 I think I'm pumpkin ale. I um, rebrewed it with, uh, I know I did, cats. I rebrewed it with uh, just straight buttercup squash. Like, all the way through. Like, buttercup squash. Um, so, there's that for that. Uh, this has, um, this has, um, pale malt, Vienna, flaked wheat, crystal, uh, Munich, brown, chocolate, flaked oats, that's for the grain. Um, it, this had about 12 pounds of, uh, buttercup squash, and this has, uh, that's 30 grams of, um, tetanang, that's put in about, uh, a 60 minute. It's got your classic uh, ginger and allspice, and it's got uh, cinnamon, it's got that old brown sugar, it's got the nutmeg, and yo guys, it's got the mace, except that the mace is in it too, so, uh, yeah, yeah, it's got all those little spices in it, this has, uh, this, this, uh, this here yeast was 1272, if I just talk like that, I never stop it, it's so fucking weird. Anyway, let's crack Joshy Squashy tonight. And let me tell you about my old homie, Josh Lopez, I guess. Uh, this one's for you, Josh. Joshy Squashy. Because it's a squash ale and... Why not? It was actually called um, Joshy Squashy as a kid. So it's kind of like... I was like, well, that's a squash thing. And I was like, yeah, I was, I was thinking about Joshy Squashy. And I don't know. That's the name. I'm sticking to it. So... All right, folks, check this out. She's all green, baby. So, that's the squash ale. That's the color of her. Uh, yeah. You know, you had to shine this light through it. Maybe a classic, like, um, pumpkin ale color. But, yeah, uh, it's, it's like that. It's not bad. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, I do smell a, um, like a fruit vegetable. Like a, uh, like a, uh, yeah, I smell a squash. It's a pumpkin. It actually smells like pumpkin. But. But I actually smell like this, um, like this brown sugary cinnamon. It's kind of like what I smell too. Mmm. Uh, yeah. It's a little, um, mm, that smell is very nice. It's, uh, man. It has like all those spices are just hitting it just fucking perfect. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how, let's see how she goes here. This one comes in at about, I think this one is about 5.8%. Yeah, I believe it is. 5.8? 5 5.8. 5 I'm going to say 5.8. Um, uh, it's going to hit my tongue. But this one's uh, for you, Joshy Squashy. And have it, my brother, Josh Lopez. I love you, man. Mm. Mm. Come on, let's get some of that in there. Just kind of spice up a little bit. Yeah, we'll spin her. Spin it a little bit. Have to love those spinners. I'll shut up. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we got some uh, yeast in there. If I could ever say the word yeast. Um, <clears throat> I could say it on command. Oh, God, that would change my life. No, but uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's like lightly medium bodied. Um, it, uh, the, the, the taste. Hmm. 
Wow, this tea. Mm. Swish it around a little bit. It almost kind of like uh, comes across like a um, like a very low, very light. It's a very light brown ale. Does have those those spice um, things in there? I think um, this the cinnamon is maybe um, coming through more. Um, <clears throat> so. So, um, yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, if I had to rate it, give it like a 3.8 out of like a 5. 3.8 out of 5. So it's probably like a little bit better than good. It's it's good. It, it's it's good. I think I think that's just what it is. I just think it's just good. It's it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So um yes. Um I don't know what more to say about it. It's last year's um pumpkin ale but just straight squash. And um, does it taste more squashy? It's actually it's 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 slightly more boozy than last year's, so um, that's a thing. Um, this one came in at like ten sixty six. Last year's I think came in at um, it was like ten fifty nine. I think it was or, or ten sixty. So um, yeah, I don't know. Um, do I love? Okay, so here's the thing. Do I like this one more than last year's? Um, I don't, actually. I, uh, to me, last year's was, like, so good. And it was just, it, like, everything was perfect. Hit stride, you know? This one, my, my, uh, smack pack didn't, like, um, take off. And it was really slow taking off. So I, that's so I said, okay, I have to go and grab a new smack pack and stick it in today. And I did. And, um... So that helped, but it might have hurt. There was a time where it wasn't really um, fermenting. It, it was just sitting in, like I'm in this bucket, you know, just slowly just hanging out. So uh, for about, uh, I want to say maybe for like about 12 hours or like 14 hours, it sat, it sat in this bucket and I was like, it's not fermenting. And so I was like, got to go to the store right now and get a new um, 1272 Smack Pack. And um, I was like, I know too much to know. Like, I just know. Like, I know that that yeast wasn't healthy. And I just went to the store, got a new Smack Pack, popped it. I'm like, yep, thank you very much. Smacked it. And I was like heading home. I'm fucking shaking that thing in the car. I'm like, all right, baby, let's start fucking blowing up, you know. Heat on it a little bit, you know, stirring it up, kind of just swishing the bag, and it started to, you know, blow up. It was like, okay, this this yeast is healthy. So um, came home, pitched that, and then um, turned around and headed back into my job. So it was like a, a strange day, but um, had to get it done. Had to make that happen. I can't let the beer sit and not f ferment. You know, that's not good. So. Um, so I, you know, there could have been something there. I don't know, a little um, like an oxygen period, oxidation period, um, hanging out without really fermenting. I don't know. It was about sixty degrees out that day, so I don't know. It was only twelve hours. It was twelve to fourteen hours. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it had a lid on it. It was, you know, like it was in the bucket, so it was all like sealed off from anything getting into it. So I mean, it was good. I mean. You know, shit happens, and you gotta act quick. So, yeah, yeah, this has like a strong, like a slightly, like candy boozy, cinnamon with like an ornamental pumpkin thing in there, like kind of like. So, uh, yeah, what's up, Mont? What's going on, baby? What's happening, brother? He's like, man, I'm just checking out the beer, daddy. Just seeing what's up. Oh, Mont, it's all good, baby. So, uh, yeah, Joshy Squashy. This one goes out to my homie, Josh Lopez, uh, who passed away. Oh, boat, man. Uh, 
this, this six years ago, but um, not forgotten ever. You know, I think about him every day. Um, and, and as a small kid, his mom called him Joshy Squashy. And uh, I was like, yeah, it's a squash ale. I got to name it after someone cool. So Josh, Josh Squashy, my brother, my brother, man. He he was my brother, man. Like, I love him so much. So on that note, this one's for you, man. Um, hail him by the name. I love you and all that shit, bro. Um, yeah, cheers. Joshy Squashy. Bang. To anyone who's passed. And, uh, you know, knock back a beer for them. Once in a while, and mm. especially th this kind of beer, this thing looks good. Give me that color. Oh man, I, I gotta stop. All right, guys, I'm out tonight. Cheers, guys. Monty, what are you doing? He goes, I'm getting in the video before it's, before it's over. My boy, Monty. It's not a video without Monty in it. All right, guys, cheers.